Welcome back to the shop guys. Today we have a old forged uh, draw knife. This does have markings on it. I don't know if you can be able to see it before we clean it up. No, you can't see it. There's a P4 right there. And that's the only thing I could find on there. It's quite rusted and pitted. But it's pretty solid. I'm pretty sure this is someone made this thing rather than a, being an actual tool you could buy in a store. But anyway, you see they got the. I might try and keep this. See if we can bend them back without busting it. So let's strip this down, and we'll see what we can do with it. About to do some more sanding, and I think somebody, namely Bandit, wants a treat. You want a treat, Bandit? He's a good boy. Such a good little boy. Goodness, it's time to go get Gertrude, I think. She's out in the pasture. Let's see. Right. Gertrude! I'm going to throw that in the evaporus to kill those little pores. You can see there's rust inside there. I'll throw it in the evaporus and I'll get rid of all that. And then we'll put some uh, some Permatex on top that will convert it to... It's like a rust converter. So anyway, I'm going to throw that in there. And then next thing we'll be doing is going back into the handles or sharpening. Okay, I found a bunch of different handles. These handles would be perfect. But the hole is enormous. These would be for like a, a, a farrier's rasp or something like that. 
but it kind of leaves me with these ones. And they do have an appropriate size slot. Only trouble is they're not quite as big as the ones I've, I'd liked. But I have to remember that these were, were bent over before. So what I'm going to do is cut these off about here somewhere. And uh, we'll make these fit. I think they'll be quite a good addition. Alright, time to epoxy the handles. I've drilled out or I've dimpled each side so the epoxy will have something to grab onto. Um, basically that's it. I'm going to mix them up. We'll try and do one. I don't know how this is going to work because I don't know how much to pour in there. So bear with me. Hell, I might need, this might not even go in the video. Because as you know, once this start, stuff starts to set up, I didn't have much time to mess with it. So let's see. Let's sit on there for a little bit, soak that some of that up. Alright, let's see how good this is. I'm sure it's going to be probably amazing because I think it's extremely sharp. Mm. It's not going to work very good if I hold it the wrong way around, is it? <laughs> I wish you could see how lightly I'm pulling on there.
What do you think about that? I think that's pretty good, don't you? Nothing wrong, that edge hasn't even touched. So right, I call that big success. I'm going to set up the little studio thing I have for doing my thumbnail pictures. We'll stick it on that so you can have a good look at it. But, uh, yeah, this is something you can be seeing in the future because it's going to be pretty amazing for doing handles. Alright, guys, we'll have a great one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dislike, do whatever you need to do, and I'll see you in the next one.